gave the Imperials a healthy kick in the buttocks, didn't we? I bet they don't stop running until they're behind the walls of Harlan's stand. We will have to go after them, of course. For one thing, I still haven't seen Septima. I just have to find out how the years have treated the old girl. There's also the matter of liberating Southern Bankerai. It's Covenant territory, you know. One grain of sand at a time, my friend. It's true we don't have the troops to go traipsing off into the desert, but one person can scout Harlin's stand and see if Septima's there. If only I had a loyal and capable friend here. Of course, you can go to Harlan's stand. Fabulous idea. Yes, my friend. The key to driving the Imperials out of Southern Bankerai will be finding and eliminating the Major's General. If you'll track Septima down, we'll be halfway done. It's a magnificent city right in the middle of nowhere. Only the gods know why the Red Guards even built it. But it's changed hands many times over the century. Not a subject to bring up when you have Faharajad and Argela in the same room. Queen Argella, of course. It's part of Bankora. Come to think of it, I don't even know why Faharajad wants it. Doesn't he have enough desert cities? You'd think he'd be lobbying for more territory in the wetlands for Mara's sake. Ha <laughs> ha Sweet Septima. I may have mentioned before, I actually met her when I was just coming of age, tagging along with my father to Cyrodiil. I took quite a fancy to her, but she mocked my advances most cruelly. My father was just a merchant lord from Cumberland, come to kiss the Emperor's ring. I didn't realize it, but I was hardly a match for a Thon. Even back then, Abner Thon would never have allowed his niece to be courted by someone like me. I believe they were aiming to conquer all Bankerai, but we've shown them that that's not going to happen. Septima's likely plotting revenge now, but who knows? Her family's so corrupt with power and necromancy, their motives hardly make sense anymore. It's a magnificent city right in the middle. I have been watching out for you. It must be quite an honor to have the High King awaiting your arrival. King Emmerich thought you would be here ahead of him, but he has waited for you nonetheless. Not terribly long, but long enough that he has formulated a plan of attack. This plan requires someone to take quite a bit of risk. I tried to volunteer for the duty, but he insists that you be the one. So I wish you good luck, my friend.
You know, I really thought the years had hardened Emmerich, made him cold. But since he arrived in Evermore, I've caught glimpses of the cousin I used to play with when we were kids. Difficult as all this has been, I think it's rekindled his spirits. Yeah. doomed. They're everywhere. I don't know where they came from. I didn't see them until I grabbed a bucket to douse the flames and then it attacked me. The Daedra. My fortunes have never looked less pleasing. Look. Look down the road. My house is on fire and Daedra roam free. I don't know where my family is. They may be trapped by the fires or killed by those savage beasts. Take this bucket. The wells between the houses, but beware those foul creatures. I tripped running away from them and injured my own arm. Three houses are ablaze. Please, put out the fires before everything burns to the ground. Look for my fiance, Milta. I've been away on business and came home to this. I do not know if she lives or fell prey to one of those things. Not long. A few days. Perhaps a week or a bit over that. My house still stands, but if we dally much longer, they and my beloved will turn to ash. I'm a traveling merchant, and was away when the Daedra attacked. When Shallan sent word of the first attack, I returned as fast as I could, and found everything ablaze. My first thought was the Imperials did this, but these fires were set too recently. The Imperials left before I set out. Looters, maybe. Or whoever summoned the Daedra? My neighbor Shallan sent word of the attack. He was certainly alive then. I hope the others survived. Most of all, my precious Milta. Please, look for them while you deal with the fires.
surrounded. Please help me. I saw you douse the fires. You have to stop the Daedra. He showed up after the Imperials marched through. Vicetus. He's summoning more and more Daedra. He gathered those who survived the first Daedric attacks, but I don't know what he may do to them. He took the others up the hill, behind that rock outcropping. Please, save them. I'll try to make it on my own. There's no reason to stay here any longer. I'll do my best. I've been hiding, but the fires finally forced me out of my home. I thought I'd be safe here, but it doesn't look as though any place is safe now. Yes, he's a good man. He's engaged to my daughter, Milta. He was away when the Daedra appeared, and I sent a lad to find him along his usual route. If you know his name, then he's alive, it seems. We are truly blessed. Not much. He's an Imperial, but he arrived after a different group attacked us, then left. I'm sure he will kill his prisoners. Maybe feed them to his Daedra pets. I heard screams from atop the hill. He's there. I know he's there. Yes, he's a good...
Bless you, bless you. My joy, my heart, Milta lives. Though who knows when I will be able to provide her and her father safe shelter. At least they both live. Milta and I will marry. We'll rebuild our homes here once the Daedra leave. And of course, Shallan will live with us. None of this would be possible without your help. Lunatic woman, Sep himself wouldn't step in her shadow. I'd stay off this path, lest she demand some humiliating task from you. A madwoman named Lady Laurent. She hired me in the Alakir to guide her through the desert, but this is as far as I go for her. She's already lost one of her traveling companions. I won't be the victim of her next accident. Ask her. I didn't stick around to hear her explanations, though excuses would be a better word. Everything is somebody else's fault. 